Hello again, citizens. This is Mr. Everything from the First Royal Aerospace Squadron, and I'm coming to you with a uh, one of our ship reviews. Now, this review is not a true review. This is a review from inside a uh, test hangar that uh, was in an older patch, and uh, some of these ships uh, are in here, as you can see, and I'm going to show you uh, what my personal uh, opinion is of these ships and it's not this is not a true review of the ship uh, later on as time goes on and ships are released and I purchase more ships and I'm actually able to uh, see what their true stats and stuff like that are I will be releasing ship uh, reviews this is basically just a first impression or mr. everything's general overview of these ships okay so um this is actually my second one, and I'm going to be talking about the Hornet Anvil Aerospace F7 Charlie. All right, the F7 Charlie. It is the workhorse of the UEE. This is the naval fighter that you will see that you see in all the uh, tu not tutorials, but the um, what do they call those things? Trailers uh, of the game. You see the uh, uh, Hornet. Right, flying around, dogfighting with all the vandals, and this is the one that the guys get into in the hangar, and they fly this thing. Okay, well, this is awesome. Uh, got your little red light on the port side, and you should have a green light on your starboard side, and then of course white lights on the tail. But let's take a look. Oh, look at that! It is green. Okay, that's great. And then these lasers they've got on there, they've got the I don't know what these are called, but. Uh, it has, I think it's, maybe it's the Klaus Werner's, I don't remember, but it's basically a Gatling. It's got three lasers. It fires three lasers. It means it just shoots three times as fast, basically. And then it's got a couple little pew-pews right there, and then it's got, you know, it's got your ladder. But look at these intakes. This ship is super iconic, and it has a huge intakes uh, to refuel its engine. I guess the engine just requires so much fuel. I thought they said that those two little fans right there were the intakes for the engine, but then why would you need these two humongous ones on the outside? I don't know, but it looks pretty darn boxy, and it looks uh, uh, it looks a little bit like the uh, Corsair from the 70s and 80s, you know, uh, from the from the U.S. Navy. A little bit the back, the front side does, but not not so much the back. But the uh, the wing, uh, that the tail fin, uh, does look pretty pretty cool. Looks like it would enable it to have some kind of atmospheric flight, along with uh, these wings are kind of thick. Uh, but but that's okay. It still looks really good. Um, I'm very impressed. I would get a Hornet, you know, Hornet. But I wanted to have a multi crew ship, and that's why I went with the Constellation. Um, I went with the Aurora initially just to make sure I got into the program. Uh, but then I went with a freelancer thinking uh, I was going to be able to, because it was pretty cool looking, and then I figured that's not really a big enough ship to have enough crew, because I want bigger, 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 bigger. Okay, sorry. So so I have a Constellation now. Eventually, we're going to be working for either a Retaliator or a uh, or an Idris when that comes out. Okay, now... Um, Let's let's talk about let's talk about what's inside this thing. I mean, just right now we're just looking at looks, and the looks are really good. Look at those animations. That's pretty good. And it closes right. Okay, and these windshields look really clean from the outside, right? But when you get on the inside, a lot of these windshields look extremely dirty. Okay, so, and I, that is where you're, you might have a pintle mounted turret or some other accessories, missiles or what have you. Uh, a lot of times missile pods are right there. They fold out from the wings and you can launch these missiles right here. Um, now when I take off, uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to launch one missile. And it's gonna, it's gonna be stuck in a missile launching loop. So um, let's get inside, and I want to show you something about the cockpit that's unique to this hangar module.
Oh, that's my backseat guy, if there was one. And there's me. Now, I can look around. Oh, wait, he doesn't... It's not targeted. All the ships aren't targeted. Okay, maybe this... Maybe this... Uh, uh, what do you call this thing? <laughs> this Hornet doesn't have those targeting reticles. Okay, that's cool. And what is that hex grid for? I think that's just to let you know that there is a pane of glass there. Um, I don't think it's a hologram, even though it might be, because it looks... See those two little green things right there? And there's two little green things there. I think those transmit onto the glass, giving you your... Basically, your heads-up style display. And then you've got all these other displays that might or might not give you some vital information. That's pretty cool. Now, if you look at that left side, you can see how... Um, see that left panel right there? It's got something spinning around inside of it. That's kind of your damage display. And, of course, remember this is pre-alpha, so everything's not exactly being shown to you correctly. And if you look at that panel behind there, you see that green circle? That is your radar map. Now, if you wanted, you can right-click your mouse... And he pulls them right up. Now you notice the damage is spinning on the left. What's missing is the silhouette of the ship because those are the those are the areas on the ship that could be damaged, and they're showing you like the level of damage each one. They, it's not a complete product, okay? And then the same thing over on the right. Uh, this now I guess this is a heads up inside your helmet. What are these two white things in the upper left and upper right? Don't know yet. They're still working on it. This remember pre-alpha. Um, I don't see a crosshair or anything. Okay, upon reloading this, um, I actually brought up the target reticles. So that, that's kind of a hit or miss, whether the target reticles are actually on. Now you can see my uh, head is turning now, and I'm actually locking on uh, to various targets in midair. Now I know I went, and that's your targeting uh, reticle right there, and then you got your where your visual is. Um, when there is a turret on the back of the ship, uh, it actually turns to face the direction you're you're looking so right now I'm just going to watch I go to third person watch the landing gear go up awesome scroll back just a little bit more there we go now um, I'm gonna fire a missile and it'll... Well, actually, let's see if I can... That's cool. I think the missile, actually, I think this is the missile that fires. Let's get behind and below so we can kind of see the missile fire. Here we go. Oh, no, maybe it's just the guns. Okay. Okay, if you listen closely, you can hear the guns going. And I've gotten quite a few guns shooting, actually. Okay, so now I'm going to fly around, and we're going to blow something up. And we're going to succeed at blowing them up, actually. Okay, where am I going? Kind of looks like I'm stopped, but actually it's not. Okay, there's asteroids. My, there it is. Now, what is that thing floating way out in the space? See, that was it. That's a test. I'm kind of curious. What is that target out there? Let's throttle up. just happen. Okay. Throttling down. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Okay, we're going to fly in over there. Let's go up. Let's go third person. When you throttle up, you can see the engine, how it flares out. That's awesome. And then when you Thro lower your throttle, it kind of slows down. This all the only thing I'm touching right now is the throttle up and the throttle down. Okay, now let's flip over. Okay, which one you want to blow up? 
Let's blow up. One of the 300 eyes. How about that? How about that guy right there? Going in slow. No, I'll speed up. I don't know what the range on these things are. Whoa. We're just going to hover here and blast it. Pew, 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 pew. No. Whatever. Hmm. It's not doing any damage. Maybe that one doesn't have its damage worked out. Because I know the Hornets do. So let's let's shoot at this this one right there. You can kind of see how it's shimmering. I'm thinking that's the shields. Uh, but I could be wrong. Check that out. That's the stealth one right there. Now this is in no way, shape, or form how these uh, ships will perform in the actual game. This is just a test bed. Uh, just to kind of show it off and to look at look at it and see how they all look together. Oh, that looks cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and land this thing, and then I'll move on to another video. And of course, the controls are not fully there yet. Landing gear come down. And I've landed. <laughs> Alright, well that was the Anvil Aerospace Hornet. F7 Charlie. And uh, you can get these from RSI website for Star Citizen. And to me, it looks a lot like a flying tank. Um, and that's one reason why I do like it. All right, well, come back and check out another video of another one of those ships I've got laying around. And P.S., there was a ship right here. It had some damage on it. And when I was running from my landing spot over to here, it had a secondary explosion. It just sat here and exploded. And then it was like bits and pieces laying here. And I wasn't fast enough on the trigger to hit the record button. Um, and then it just disappeared. Okay, I thought that was pretty cool. All right, well, um, thanks for checking out the Hornet F7 Charlie video. And I'll see you in the verse.